Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to quickly and easily create speed ramps using DaVinci Resolve. So we've just got this little clip here, and we're going to create a speed ramp right in the middle just to demonstrate how it works. So first thing you need to do is go to your clip. Once you have your clip, right click on it and go to real time controls. This will open the speed ramping option. Now, if you want to create a speed ramp, we're going to go from, say, normal speed to, say, 400% then to back to normal. So just put your slider in the position you want it in. Then go to the little arrow here where it says 100% and then add a speed point. From this point forward, it's going to speed up to whatever speed you increase it to. So we're going to jump ahead to about here and repeat the same process. So add another speed point. This will split the segment into three different spots, but you can add as many as you like. So we're going to change the middle one to where the speed ramp is, and we're going to change it from 100% to 400%, just to give a bit of a dramatic enhancement. And when you play back from here, it's going to look like that. So quite a mild little speed enhancement. Okay, so now we have our increased speed section where it's going to speed ramp. We're going to need to change the way that it moves because at the moment it's a little bit chunky and a little bit uh, not smooth. So to fix that, just right click on the clip and go to real time curve. This will open our smoothing option. So we're just going to expand this so you can see it. And here you'll see currently what it looks like. So it's pretty much instantly kicking in. So we're going to click the dots here and then change the option to a curve and it will smooth it out. So we'll do the same to the other side. Now we have a nice curve that gradually motions in. Now that you've done that, you can also adjust it so we can increase the speed ramp here just by dragging it left or right. Now you can also further adjust these just by grabbing these sliders here, dragging them in or out. This is all essentially fully customizable to however you think is going to best fit your project. So feel free to play around with it. Generally, I find the smoother you make it, the better. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire process. So once you've done that, you can close the real-time curve and then essentially close the real-time controls as well. And then you have your clip. So we'll just go back here so it's actually visible and we'll watch what we've created so far. There's our speed ramp. And then it slows back down. Really, really simple, really easy. And you can do it in about, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds if you're pretty quick. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.